hi hi name is Afnan it's a video update of my coponic set and as you can see from this video there was a um, uh, shade that I just removed because it's not that hot now and this first grow bit I have uh, started to do uh, tomatoes uh, this time the tomatoes I have to watch it carefully because I do not want any um, there's white box to be uh, bordering this tomato plant again so I have to really take care of it and water feed I have to make slight changes previously I'm using that single pump and um, now I use uh, one pump for two row bed which is a slightly smaller pump in fact much smaller pump it's only about uh, 30 watt pump and it will be feeding right straight up into the grow bit. Uh, I yet to change this water inlet to, to have a better arrangement and uh, still haven't had time to do it. Right, uh, this next grow bit is uh, Vietnamese coriander and some tomatoes plant. This uh, sambal nyawa plant is uh, there. And I intend to remove all plant from this grow bed and put uh, okra in it. Just dedicated to okra and some small shops. And third grow bed with uh, lemongrass. Lemongrass doing quite well. In fact, we have used a few for cooking. And behind the lemongrass will be this is the pandanus. Pandan we call it and it's a pandanus uh, plant we give flavoring to cakes uh, or the uh, cooking to make it very uh, nice smell right well, lemongrass uh, quite well and I may have to uh, transplant it to somewhere else a few okra plant and they are huge one of them is very big and they are fruiting so fast that I sometimes uh, uh, not fast enough to pick them up. You can see the okra. And uh, there's one of the biggest ones. You can see because the sun is in the way actually. Uh, okay, there will be more okra on that plant. It's roughly one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've taken a few and about left nine on this one plant. I let it uh, ripe and uh, harden on the plant because I just want to make to turn it into seed. Okay. This last uh, grow bit was a mess, and this plant, what we call Ulam Raja, and uh, I'm waiting for it to flower. This this is uh, eaten raw. Just take take it something like this, and it's eaten raw, and uh, it's quite uh, good to just see it this way. And I'm waiting it to flower. Once it flower, I can collect the seeds. Then I will remove this plant and redo this grow bit. There's a loon corn. There's uh, trying its best to grow, and I suspect the grasshopper been eating this corn. And yeah, there's one now running away. And uh, I'm, I'm trying my best to keep this uh, corn survive, or because I just want to test it out whether. Uh, we can do uh, corn. I've seen uh, some photograph from Australia that they have done uh, corns on aquaponics. So I have to try it myself. Uh, this is the fern that was from the previous uh, planting. I've removed a lot, all of them and probably some roots remain and they start to grow. They are quite, they are easily grown. So not a big problem. Water to this grow bed, I stopped for a while because I'm doing this recording and uh, everything is holding fine. And grow bed is matured, 
what I need to do now is to uh, replant and uh, redo some of the grow bit with uh, uh, different plants. Uh, you can see from my earlier posting in my blog that uh, I'm looking for raspberry, and actually, raspberry is doable here. I planted it before, but I want to try it on a coponic uh, setup. And uh, let's switch on this pump because I just switch it off uh, for a while to do some uh, video on the noise comparison test. Okay, water outlet from grow bed I modified to have this uh, the one with a lot of these perforated holes or a lot of holes that uh, reduce the noise. You can have a uh, solid straight hollow down tube but then I prefer to have uh, a lot of holes in it so that I can see the water is flowing the siphon is working and also it gives a lot of aeration to the water as you can see now it's aerating the water it's very important because I have so many tilapias in here I cannot afford to have it not uh, aerating the water properly. There are a few. Uh, this is a uh, water spinach or kangkong, we call it. Then I just throw it inside this uh, tank for tilapia to eat. My aerator is not working, so I temporarily put the uh, power heads two power hits that will be switched on at night there's one more over here and uh, will relieve problem of uh, lack of uh, water aeration at night this particular down tube is uh, a straight type without a uh, double elbow I'm not really that it's not really that working that well it works but uh, it's a bit more noisy than the one with the double elbow probably the water velocity is higher in this one you can see from this, this, this uh, occurrence now i didn't have any problem with the siphon it's working fine and everything holding well a uh, few days ago i harvested about 10 tilapia there's plenty more where it come from the bigger one uh, is quite difficult to collect quite difficult to catch they, they are very uh, uh, not to say wild but they are very lively and uh, they jump the net okay that's about uh, all in the updates on this uh, video and hope I can make uh, more video when there's something new or uh, there's something to talk about. Alright, thank you very much. Bye.